Time to get down to business with Madison Reedy. So directors, they've had their say on the economy and they're feeling a little glum about things. They are, they're glum and they're gloomy, which is no surprise because this is obviously what we've been hearing all year from business confidence surveys. This one specifically was just directors, so the people at the very top uh, at the board level of some of our largest listed companies, also state-owned enterprises uh, and government organisations too. So this is the uh, Institute of Directors and ASB together every year they do a director sentiment survey. Now this year was the first time in five years, the entire history of these two uh, organisations doing this survey, where the amount of directors who are pessimistic about the economy, who expect it to worsen, was actually greater than the number who expect it to improve. So 43% aren't feeling so great about the economy mm. uh, and only 17% are feeling like things will get better. And why are they so down in the mouth about it? Uh, Obviously, a change in government do does have a lot to do with it, uh, but also we saw roles reversed when it came to their own organisations. And this is something that we've seen across all business confidence surveys, all of these companies and their leaders saying that, you know, we, we feel sad about the economy, we don't like what's happening, uh, particularly when it comes to business confidence or decisions like uh, the uh, ridding of oil and gas exploration permits, uh, permits, how businesses weren't necessarily consulted on that uh, as they think they should have been, so businesses were unhappy about decisions like that. Also the rise in the minimum wage, the regional fuel taxes, all of that is rising costs that has to go into their books and you know come out mm. of their wallets as well. So that's typically the, uh, the type of thing that makes businesses uh, not confident. But at the board level they were specifically uh, concerned about uh, shortage of labour and quality of labour, right. so not being able to find enough or good enough staff. Uh, and also regulatory red tape, which is very consistent whenever there's, there's a change in government. They're always concerned about how much more red tape are you going to put out out there for us to, to have to cut. Well, as soon as you mention uh, petrol tax, regional petrol tax, uh, not as much pain at the pump at the moment. Why? C certainly less pain at the pump. And this is all of these uh, geopolitical factors that, that play into what, what that price is that we actually uh, see at the pump and what we have to pay for it. So the price of Brent crude oil has actually dropped over 20% in just uh, a matter of weeks. So last month in October, it actually hit a four-year high, which is you know a, a, a massive amount per barrel of, of crude oil, both the US crude and also the Brent crude that we that we buy internationally. But last month, uh, though that, sorry, recently, that high from last month has been entirely wiped. Mm. So now we're actually back at the same price that we were paying at the start of the year. That's obviously great news for fuel companies, so they have been able to ease the pressure at the pump. Yeah, but have they <laughs> eased the pressure at the pump to the same degree the price has eased for them? I put that question to Z Energy's chief executive yesterday, and we don't know the margin that fuel companies take uh, in their cut from the price of petrol. Obviously, you know, they always say that it's fair, but they do need to remain competitive. Uh, but then also competitiveness does keep their prices pretty low. They also have businesses to run, so they do have to take a cut to be able to even pay for the petrol station down the road from your house to stay standing and to have somebody there to, to help you mm. put, put the petrol in your car. Uh, but Z has dropped the price uh, this week by about six to eight cents on average in some areas of the country where it could be could be dropped lower where there's less competition. It was dropped by about 30 cents a litre. There was also that announcement today from Waitomo Fuel. They're dropping uh, unleaded 91 down to $2 a litre across the country this weekend. So prepare for the rush. Um, what about the markets today and Brexit? I imagine that's playing a bit of a role with, with the dollar. It, it, it certainly is. It's certainly kind of throwing the dollar around. So the NZX Top 50 Index, our market closed down. Wall Street uh, uh, had, a, had a really good day uh, uh, when it closed this morning, but we didn't uh, see, see many of, the, of those gains. So we were down 0.2%, that's 16 points to 8,809. Uh, the New Zealand dollar is buying at 68.2 US cents. We're back over that 68 uh, cent mark there, really strong against the, the US. Uh, 93.9 90, to the Australian and 53.3 British pence. So we've gained against the British pence. Yeah. Thank you, Madison. That is Madison Reedy with our business update.